Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome or welcome back. Today I'm showing you my eye makeup collection, specifically eyeshadows, mascaras, and then eyeliners. I've been doing a series on my channel for a little bit now where I go through each section of my makeup collection and show you what I got. I'll have a playlist linked in the upper right hand corner and in the description box below if you'd like to check out the previous videos that I've done. But today, I will have all products I'm mentioning in the description box down below with a link. If you decide to purchase a product through one of those links, please know any link with an asterisk beside it is an affiliate link, which means I can make a commission off of your purchase at no extra cost to you. But just like to always be transparent about that. But with that being said, let's get into the collection video. So first off, I have two eyeshadows from ColourPop. Here's what they look like. This first one right here is, I believe this is Ladybird, And it's kind of just a champagne-y um pinky reflect glitter it's pretty glittery and it's got like a lot of texture to it this one is a little bit more just of a shimmer this is the ColourPop super shock in sailor and this one's kind of like a taupe with like a blue cool reflect to it really like both of those formulas highly recommend the ColourPop formula and i've had these both for probably about a year now and they haven't dried out and even though they're cream they still haven't dried out so that is a major pro for me. Next we have, oh I love this. I don't know if you can still get it though. This is the L'Oreal Chromatic Bronze Loose Pigment. This is in the shade As If. Here's what it looks like. It's just a really pretty rose gold shade. I love the dimension that it gives and it's a really easy glitter to apply. So this is one of my favorite loose glitters. So now I have this eyeshadow I've gotten in Ipsy a while back. It's the Kaylin Just Mineral Eye Polish. Here's what it looks like. This one is in the shade number 5, Orchid, and although the applicator is, it's kind of like a doe foot applicator, and it's not the best, I just really love this shade, so I do keep it around despite having had it for a while. So here is a shadow from MAC. I'm not sure if the specific shade, this is Retrospect, and I'm not sure if this one is available anymore, but I really do enjoy it, and I like the MAC formula. I believe this is just their typical single shadow formula. So next we have an eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown. This is just like the perfect base shade. This is in the shade Bone. Here's what it looks like. I use this whenever I have a palette that doesn't have an all over the lid shade. Next we have a lid pigment from Kaja. It's just one of their kind of liquid cream eyeshadows. This is the Moon Crystal in Luminary. I really like the shade. I don't know how I feel really about the actual shadow. I haven't given it a major chance. I just don't really find myself trying it very much. So I'll have to keep you guys posted when I have like a mm, further analysis on how I feel about it. So this right here is actually an eyeliner, but I didn't know where else to put it. It's from um, Bobbi Brown. It's just their gel black eyeliner, but it's a cream and I really didn't know where else to put it. I mean, of course I could put it with the eyeliners, but I just think aesthetically it looks a little bit better with the eyeshadows. Now another one from Bobbi Brown. I believe this is the last shadow from Bobbi Brown. Um, this is a really pretty shade. It's called Rose Gold Number 8. And I'm not sure if they have it in this particular packaging, but this shade, I just, I love it. I love it. It's a really easy one color lid look. I'm sure you could find something similar at the drugstore, but I do really enjoy it for what it's worth. Here we have the Glossier. These are the Lid Stars. I really like these. I know they're not the most popular. I feel like a lot of people don't love, love them. I think they're really easy for a quick look. I like to combine them. I'm the shade Moon and Slip. And I also like wearing them on their own. So next I have some loose glitters from Lena Lashes. Really do enjoy these. They take a little bit of adhesive and stuff to apply. But I have a silvery shade and then also a kind of bluish shade that I don't wear quite as often as this silver one. But I do. These are pretty and I like them. So I found one of the Hourglass little scattered like glitters. And I wanted to find the other. So I kind of tore up this whole compartment. But here they are. These are the Hourglass scattered like glitters. Um, you know, they are expensive. But they have a great color pigment. Um, they have great color payoff, they have great texture, and they are relatively easy to apply and long-lasting. So I'll show you the two shades individually that I have. I really like them both. This first one right here is probably the one, if I had to only recommend one, this is the shade Reflect. And it's the shade that I'd recommend. It's this rose gold champagne-y shade. Very, I just, I just love it. It's a very versatile shade. And then also the shade Smoke, which is this one right here kind of a taupey, um, kind of like great for a smoky eye, like a brownish smoky eye. Ooh, now to talk about another product I love. I actually did a whole review on this a while back, probably over a year ago now, but this is the Ciate London um, Marbled Metal Shadow in the shade Entwine, if it'll focus. You can kind of see it. I wish you could see, oh, there it goes, the kind of texture to it. It's really beautiful. I love using it as kind of a base to really get the pigment down. 
and then sometimes amplifying it with more of like a textured type product. Then I have a shadow that I got in Ipsy a while back. This is um, the Be A Bombshell eye base in the shade Submissive. I love the shade. The formula, eh, it's a cream shadow and it's lasted quite a while, but I don't know. I just don't love the formula. It's not super easy to use, but I love the shade. Not sure why I had this in the eyeshadow compartment, but this is the NYX Glitter Goals Eyeliner in the shade Diamond Dust, I believe. Just the silvery um, glittery liner. It's good. It's not the best I've ever tried, but it does get the job done. It's relatively affordable, so that's what we got. Then we have the Kaja Bento Box. I love this eyeshadow trio. I highly recommend it. It's $21. I have mine in the shade Rose Water. I really want to get some more. Um, this is the shade I use all the time. This like light pink. They also have kind of a more um, mid-tone pinky shade. They're all like the texture, the color payoff, easy to apply. Like they're great. So those are the shades. Really enjoy this and definitely recommend. Next we have an eyeshadow that I don't even know why I keep it. It's from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Spiked. I believe it was like a dollar. Um, and it, it's a very textured glitter, but there's something wrong with the consistency because it has a very, um, glossy, uncomfortable, sticky feel, but it's like it doesn't even transfer onto the lid. Like you will not see much glitter at all. There's like zero color payoff, zero, you know, texture. It's just not good. I, I need to declutter, honestly. Here we have the Maybelline Color Tattoo. I use this on occasion, but to be honest, I wish I used it more. It's not bad. It just gets overlooked by other things, but this is in the shade Beige Luster. I'm not sure if you can get these anymore, but I got a bunch of these Revlon Single Shadows at one point in time. They're good. They're not, you know, the best, but I do use them on occasion. I like having certain shades when I travel that I may not have in the palette that I choose to bring. So they're good, but honestly, I don't really recommend them over a lot of the other things I'm mentioning then. We have, I don't even know if this is available either. It's the NYX Baked Eyeshadow. Um, you know, it's okay. It, it, the color payoff really isn't there. There's not a ton of, you know, texture to it or dimension, but I mean, it, it's okay. Next we have a single shadow from Urban Decay. This is in the shade Lounge. I believe this is one of their like uh, multi-dimensional like moon dust shadows. It's pretty cool. I don't use it very often because I don't do crazy eye looks like that too frequently. Here we have a little eye crown from Tristique. It's in the shade Aspen. It's kind of just a, or Aspen Pine or something. It's kind of this greenish deep shade. I like it. Don't use it very often though. Then I have these Maybelline color tattoos. I got them. I was really excited about them. I use them on occasion. They are not my favorite cream shadows though. They're just not the easiest to apply and sometimes I feel like they don't have the best color payoff. This right here is the shade Socialite. I still like them though. I don't want to, you know, they're just not my number one favorite, and I want to make that clear. And then also, I have the shade, let me open it up for you. This is, right here, is Front Runner. So here's what that looks like. Kind of a champagne-y. They're definitely creamy, and they don't have, like, any really glitter. They have a little bit of shimmer. Not super multi-dimensional, but they're nice for kind of a more basic look. So here we have one of my favorite eye crowns due to the formula. In addition, also the actual shade. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Crown. You can see it is very dingy very used up. It's in the shade Enduring Rose, and I just think it's the most beautiful, light, rose gold pink. I love this. So I have three shades of the Milk Jumbo Eye Pencils. I Smoka Milk, which was so popular back in the day, and then also Yogurt, which is probably my favorite. So these are good. They're not quite as good as that L'Oreal formula, but they get the job done. So this little um, chrome pot from Tarte, I used to use all the time, but then I must have lost the little... Um, like thing that keeps it pressed down and so now it's like super gets super messy um and it's just is so difficult to use and work with that I don't use it as often anymore so it kind of just sits there I know it's a beautiful shade great dimension great shade but it's just so hard to work with now here's a single shadow from Sephora this is a shade that I really like I want to get it in there I don't know if it's a newer formula but their newer packaging just to see if there's a difference it's in romantic comedy it's just a pretty Mm, light pinky neutral shade. So here's a shadow. It's the I524 from Makeup Forever. Really enjoy this. Um, it's very similar, however, to that um, for the one that I just mentioned. So here are two shadows from Kiss New York. I had a lot of them. I know I decluttered some, but I, I thought I had a few more than these. Um, I kind of kept this yellow around because I thought it was fun and different. Same with this shade right here, but they're not the best in the world to be you know, completely honest, if you were to say, oh, you can buy them again, I'd be like, uh, I'd rather not, you know, that kind of a deal. So I zoomed out a little bit to move on to the mascaras and the uh, clear brow gels and the lash primers. I've been trying really hard not to keep too many mascaras open at the same time. So this compartment has a lot of different type products in it. But first, here is a mascara that I don't love, love. I don't think I'd ever repurchase. It's okay. It's the Maybelline Lash Sensational. 
And I really, the thing about this is it's okay, but the formula is very, very liquidy, which I don't love. Um, I find that I like a little bit more of a drier consistency, especially in comparison to a liquid one. And I don't know, the brush isn't that great either. Um, it's, I'm almost done with it, so I am going to be probably getting, you know, getting rid of it soon. Then this one is so dirty too. I'm really embarrassed. I'm about to open a new one of my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This has been my go-to for quite a few months now. I've been using, you know, this mascara, repurchasing it over and over again because it just gets the job done. You know, whether I'm going with just kind of a more subtle eye makeup look and I want something a little bit more natural or if I want something full and voluminous, this can do that as well. Highly recommend. It is like $11, which is kind of expensive for the drugstore, but in comparison to like higher end mascaras, it is the bomb. And then I don't think you can get this. This is the um, Tarte Best Info. It's like a lash fiber thing. And I don't use it as often anymore, but it really does add some, you know, volume to your lashes and makes them look a little bit more full. So if you can find something like this, I would say go for it. It's been really nice and I was able to get it at a pretty good discount when I did get it. Then another Maybelline mascara. This is actually one that I do like a little bit more. It took a while for it to dry out, you know, to the point that I like it. You know, it took a little bit to get to the point that I liked after opening it, but it's the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. And it gives me the volume um, just for like day to day. And I like that. And I can also wear it when I'm doing more of a full glam look. So it's pretty, pretty versatile. I'm not sure if I'll repurchase it, but I do like it. Here's the NYX on the Rise Mascara. This is an okay mascara. At first, I loved it. But now I'm just not sure. When I compare it back to the other mascaras that I've tried and loved, I'm not sure quite how it holds up. And here we have the Bobbi Brown. Um, this is the clear brow gel I've been using. Really enjoying this. Don't think I'll repurchase it just because it's so pricey and there's so many other ones that can do just as good, but I do like it. Here's probably my favorite higher-end mascara. I'm really sad because it's almost just completely dried up. It's the Hypnos Drama from Lancome. Um, so I'm not sure I want to repurchase it. I just, it is a pricey one and I don't know. I'll have to think about repurchasing it, but I'm almost done with it. Really enjoy it. Would recommend if you're willing to spend a little bit more on a mascara. Then we have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer. To be completely honest, I don't use a lot of lash primers very often, so this kind of just sits there and I use it whenever I feel like it, but yeah, I don't use this that often. Then we have a little sample um, of a long comb lash primer. I like it. It's kind of the same thing as the L'Oreal one. I definitely would not pay a higher end price tag for this just because of the nature of it. I feel like they're like so comparable. It's scary. Now here is a lash primer I would pay a higher price tag for. It is the They're Real um, Lash Primer. Not the um, mascara, but the tinted primer. It is so good. If you can find it, it is so good. It's one of the only lash primers that I feel like really, really, really does something and makes it worth its price. And then last but not least, we have this Gimme Brow sample from, obviously, Benefit. Um, this is a tinted brow gel, and it is nice to have one on hand, but honestly, I don't use tinted brow gels all that often. So now for these eyeliners from Urban Decay. They're the 24-7 eyeliners. These are ones that I got in a set together, so I thought I'd show them all together. Um, these are the shades Delirious, Accuse, Muse, and Zodiac. And with eyeliners, for me, I feel like a lot of times, you know, it doesn't really matter for a black liner. A lot of times you can find a really good one, but their color formula is amazing. Like, I do, I really think these hold up nicely. Here's an eyeliner from LA Girl. It is the Ultimate Eye Stay Auto something or another, but it's in the shade Totally Teal. I do really like the shade. The formula is pretty nice, too. So, for, you know, take that for what you will. Here's a full-size liner from Urban Decay. It's Rockstar. Um, this is another one of their 24-7 ones. Really like this shade as well. I love purple eyeliners for some reason. I have blue eyes, but I just love purple liners. So here's an eyeliner from NYX that I honestly forgot I had, and I'm so glad that I found it because I do enjoy it. It's the shade Charcoal, and it's just their eye pencil. This little nub, I love this eyeliner. It is, it's really good. It's the Le Crown Coal Eyeliner, and this is just their black shade. This is from Lancome. I also have, yeah, it's right here. I also have a larger one that is in kind of a gray shade that I also, I mean, this one's really nice too for more like natural days when I don't want like a, you know, I don't know, like a heavy eyeliner. This is really good too. The formula is so good. Here we have an eyeliner. Um, this is from JCat. It's okay. It's the skinny and long eye pencil. Here we have an eye pencil from L'Oreal. It's their infallible eye pencil in the shade gray. I really, I like gray eyeliners for the day to day. So this formula, I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners. It is just not that pigmented. I wouldn't 
I mean, I would not run to get these. I know they're a little bit more affordable, but they're just not the best out there. Here's another eyeliner from Urban Decay. You can't, it's like doing a terrible job of focusing, but this is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. I don't love real light shimmery liners, um, but it is a good formula. So here's an eyeliner from Sephora. I'm a big fan of both the liquid and the like cream, like crayon type eyeliners um, from Sephora. This is the Sephora what is it, like cream color, contour, crayon, or something or another. Uh, you guys know, I'll have, you know, information below, but this is in the shade Black Lace, and it's waterproof. Then I have another Sephora liner. This is a retractable one. I've gone through quite a few of these. Um, this is a blue shade in, it's called Shimmer Navy. Next, we have another Urban Decay eyeliner. This is their famous Perversion liner. Real focus, that's what it looks like. Pretty good, but again, for black liners, I am not too picky. Then we have this brown eyeliner from Smashbox. It's the Always On. It's okay. I don't think you need to pay this high of a price tag for a liner, personally. This is a liquid liner that I have been enjoying. It's the Super Slim from L'Oreal. It's just one of their black shades. I like this. I would recommend it. It's not my all-time favorite, but again, it's pretty affordable. Gets the job done. Here's another one from L'Oreal that I like. This one's drying up a little bit, so I probably need to get a new one, but it's the L'Oreal Infallible... I believe eye paints or infallible paints. It's just a black liquid liner. It's really good. This one has a little bit of a thicker tip than the other one that I just mentioned. Here's another eyeliner from Sephora. I love another one of their liquid liners. I forget the name, but this one is another one that I like. It is the Fine Line Liner. It's just one of their black ones. It's also pretty good. All right, guys, that wraps it up for today. I hope you enjoyed today's eye makeup collection video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around for more content, definitely subscribe before you go if you haven't already. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great couple of days until I post my next video and I will see you then. Bye guys.